Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 11th, 2023. Well, yesterday was not exactly what I think a lot of folks would have hoped for. Um, with a, another choppy day and some uncertainty in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. This morning, I'm going to probably try and talk a little fast because I'm a little bit behind. I had a little computer problem here this morning. We've got these major thunderstorms running around the area, causing me some um, issues and problems. So I'm going to rush through this a little bit today, so I apologize. First off, taking a look at the diamonds. Unfortunately, what I would love to be able to do is say that something has changed here. But if you take a look, the majority of the price action that we have seen since all the way back here in November remains stuck in this trading range. We've had that those opportunities to trade it to the downside. And yesterday we had some volatility as well, well where we traded down with some worries of debt ceiling, worries of regional banking situation. And then by the end of the day, we popped back up and stuck still in the same range. So if the bulls find inspiration today, let's look for an opportunity that they may push up into that region that we looked at uh, just yesterday. Right up in here would be the next potential place that we could move to if if we can find that inspiration. And then if they can break through that, well, we'll start looking at these additional levels to the to the upside. If the bears find inspiration today, well, then I would suggest, I'm gonna take this line and I think I'll just leave it right there. We could retest this price support area right here real easily. If that were to slip, if we fail through there, maybe down in here. And then of course, worst case scenario would be down in here if they're really disappointed on the day. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Big old whipsaw in the day here, uh, leaving behind a hammer pattern, but we need to have a follow through to confirm a hammer pattern. Remember a hammer pattern in the middle of a chop zone not exactly the best signal in the world and as you can see if those bulls find inspiration well maybe we'll retest up here and then see if we can push on through and retest this chop zone high if the bears find inspiration well i think you guys know the answer here if we look um, right in here we might come back down and retest these lows right in here on that chart if those were to fail then oh, back down into this area of the chart if we look at our qqq qqq with the help of just very select big tech giants we had a rally yesterday and we were able to push out of here with some uncertainty originally we pushed out and then pulled back and then finally pushed on out with um, the google um, uh, meeting that went on yesterday um, really inspired that to push higher and that also lifted Microsoft and Apple a little bit. Um, it's big tech doing all the work here, giant tech doing all the work here. Much of everything else wasn't moving um, all that nicely. So um, we do have a breakout here. The trend continues in that chart. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration here to the upside, well, we have to look, start looking out at new levels here in the chart. And perhaps we look all the way back into here. There's a little bit of price level right there. We can see the bigger price level is right up in here. So if they can really find that inspiration, let's look in that area of the charts. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, let's take a look. We would probably push back down inside this range and maybe even retest some of these support levels in here and possibly the trend. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM, my goodness choppy choppy messy 
um, nasty looking chart. We continue to try and break through this resistance up here, keep trying to press and press and press, and continue to reject that level up here. So if the bulls find inspiration today, let's look for another attempt to see if we can break through this resistance up here um, in that chart and maybe for once and for all break this downtrend that we've been seeing. If the bears find inspiration, well, I'm gonna suggest we come down into here and if that fails, huh, right back down here to these lows. So keep a close eye on that. Still the weakest index in the market by far. If we take a look at our VIX, VIX was kind of interesting yesterday. Uh, for, for a good portion of the day, the VIX was showing a white candle here with a little bit of fear coming in. And then the whipsaw at the end of the day really changed that and we pushed right back down here we continue to be stuck in this range here on the vix somewhere between uh, 16 and 17 handles um, on the vix no fear here particularly in the market despite the the additional selling that kind of came into the regional banking sector and um, the debt ceiling uncertainty out there so watch that closely your guess is as good as mine today on the economic data that we've got coming whether we're going to pop out or break down um, it's just been a chop fest here for some time and i think the challenging price action is likely going to continue let's take a look at our uh, t2122 and our t2122 also pretty much confused um we ended up just staying stuck uh, we're right here about the middle of the range on our T2122, which means if the bulls find inspiration today, we certainly have upside possibilities. We do have this little downtrend that have been challenging us here a little bit, so we'll want to watch that. And if the bears find inspiration today, well, we have about an equal amount of downside opportunity here in T2122. So I suspect the data will make the decision as to whether we're going to finally break higher or lower here on the day. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 improved just a little bit, but not enough to change anything. As you can see, we're still challenged by this price resistance in the chart. 45% of the stocks holding above their 40-day uh, moving average. Um, we're just not getting uh, very clear signals here at all. It's just an awful lot of chop. If the bears were to find inspiration today, I would look for a retest down in here. If the bulls find that inspiration, maybe we can break that resistance here and start uh, changing this up, maybe move up toward 50% of the stocks above their 40 day. Let's take a look at our T2107. T2107 also very confused, but it did rally a little bit yesterday. We continue to remain in this downtrend. We continue to see the head and shoulders top on this. So we uh, are trapped in here. If the bulls find inspiration, maybe we press up into some of these resistance levels up into here. If the bears find inspiration, well, maybe we push down and we start looking at some of these support levels in the chart. Currently 40, 40 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Not, we're just kind of stuck in the middle here. If we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 started to hook just a little bit yesterday when volume came up a little bit, but then we just kind of faltered here where um, we ended up staying stuck in the same region. So not much direction here on T2101. We're still waiting for something to kick us either out of this range or below this range. Um, uh, one way or the, uh, uh, another, um, this has been a frustrating market with all of this chop and um, range bound trading. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, we've got a couple things that we'll want to be paying attention to here this morning. First off, we're going to have those jobless claims and we're going to have uh, the PPI. Now, what's interesting is jobless claims is looking for only a modest increase in those claims. And we know that's one of those problematic things for the Fed. So keep an eye on that. And then our PPI final demand. 
wow that's looking at coming in kind of flat and very sticky a lot like uh, the cpi ac according to uh the consensus so um it may be a one tenth of one percent that will make the difference here for the day whether the market sees that as bullish or bearish um we're going to have uh, some fed speak out there natural gas report little bond auctions with a 30 bond auction 30 year bond auction and the fed balance sheet as we look forward into friday we've got import export prices consumer sentiment and some fed speakers out there one of the things that we have seen recently we just ignore them it doesn't matter what the number is we're ignoring them so um i don't know that they'll make that big a difference for tomorrow let's take a look at um our earnings calendar for today now our earnings calendar is a little bit less today which is kind of nice i'm not going to cover all of the potential earnings here this morning you'll still need to click that link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog to catch the full list just because i'm in a rush um let's take a look we've got um, aon that will be reporting today uh cy BR will be on that list today. Looks like we're getting a little bearishness in the pre-market on that one. Uh, we've got uh, Dillard's reporting today. We're going to hear from uh, JD.com. We're going to hear from Krispy Kreme. Whoops. Got to type the right symbol. Well, for Pete's sake. I'll get it. DNUT, um, we'll want to watch that one today. And we're also going to hear from NIO, and we're going to hear from Yeti. So keep an eye on some of those reports. And again, if you want that full list of notables, make sure you click the link uh, just below the title of the video. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that bell icon uh, when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, all your comments, um, emojis, anything like that that you leave on the channel help to um, show that engagement to YouTube and helps the channel to grow. So thank you so much for that. And I want to apologize yesterday. I got a little bit carried away in conversation in the trading room yesterday and wasn't able to get over and answer those comments um, yesterday so I do apologize I'll be back on that case today let's take a look at some of these stocks and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities As a matter of fact you're gonna have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful here with the choppiness and, and the, this markets capability of just suddenly and swiftly reversing in big point moves so be very very careful make sure you're following your own trade rules let's take a look um, at um, one of the reports that disappointed last night disney now disney's been trying to creep to the upside this is a maybe a little bit disappointing here because their numbers were off on the streaming side of things one of the things we have seen here recently is we gap down on an earnings report and the stock immediately gets bought back up that doesn't mean it rallies back to a new high but that's been one of the things we've been seeing me personally i'm not interested in doing that but if i do get a rally back up and we find a resistance here and show failure that's where i want to start looking for the short trade so keep an eye on disney you might also want to keep an eye on uh, Netflix today. Netflix could have some negative reaction to the Disney um, uh, streaming news, so keep an eye on that. Um, Netflix trading right here at a substantial resistance level in the chart. If that were to fail back down through this trend, that would be a little bit of a problem. If Netflix holds up here, however, then I would look for the next upside opportunity in Netflix. Let's take a look at some of the big techs. My goodness, AMD, you know, this collaboration that they announced with Microsoft really saved this after its earnings, um, earnings really pushed it down. And now there's just, 
for some reason people can't rush fast enough to buy um, AMD. So watching that closely, I think we're pushing into a resistance level in the chart. I would not chase it at this point, but there's no denying this has become a very bullish um, chart pattern here. So watch for the next rest consolidation pullback for that next entry into the trade. Take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA, one of the big tech giants yesterday that started down and pushed right back up, continues to show upside opportunity. It doesn't report earnings until 524. We've got analysts out there that have hung a $350 price target on it. I would be not at all surprised to see this continue to stretch to the upside, despite the fact that their PE ratios are just absolutely out of control on a lot of these big tech names. Doesn't seem to matter though. Nobody seems to be bothered by that. If we take a look at Google, boy, Google had a great day yesterday after its product announcement of their new foldable, foldable $1,800 phone. And as you can see, pushing to the upside, some resistance up here coming, but very strong move in Google. So now I wouldn't, again, want to chase this. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity in Google. Take a look at Amazon. Amazon also pushing through um, that upside. This has been a very choppy, range-bound, ugly um, price action here in um, Amazon, but we're finally starting to break through here again. As it breaks through, test these next resistance level, any rest or pullback would then set up an opportunity to the long side. Let's take a look at gold. Gold continues to hold in here very nice and strong. It doesn't want to give up. Continuing to the upside in that regional banking situation could be the problem. If you're looking for a short trade, you might want to take a look at KRE. KRE continuing to push to the downside. It looks like we have that potential that we could retest the lows here in KRE as that pressure on the regional banks continues. And you might want to take a look at um, XLF as well. XLF running into this downtrend, finding some resistance in the charts. Now, now, there's news out that it, it may be another month or two or something like that that we're going to see some pressure starting to build here on the big banks due to the commercial real estate um, problem that's that's heading their direction so watch that closely um, we might also want to continue to keep a close eye on some of these defensive sector stocks that are, um, well, once again, PE ratios are really high, um, but nobody seems to care anymore about that um, beautiful setup here for Hershey. Um, nice little consolidating move. Defensive sector stocks continuing to remain strong. I would look for some more upside to come in there. So guys, I'm going to cut this off because I'm running out of time. I want to get this out in a reasonable time for you this morning. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for listening. I appreciate it so much. Everyone take care. Be safe. Have a productive and profitable day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one.